I want to talk to you about a certain type of gallery that runs like it's a bit of a scam and they target usually young aspiring artists. Now it's actually legal, but it's not really probably what you're looking for. it's just going to end up costing you a bunch of money. And that's called a vanity gallery. And so if you are, are at all interested in kind of showing your work and you're kind of starting out and you think at some point you might be interested in showing with a gallery, you really need to watch this video. And this was prompted because of uh, an artist on my online community that is taking my Becoming a Successful Artist course, she was actually reached out to buy this one particular gallery that offered her an opportunity to show in Chelsea, New York. And of course she was very excited and she emailed me to ask what I thought. And so that's what I'm gonna talk to you about today is vanity galleries, what are they? How do they make their money? And why you should really be aware of them. And as usual, if you like my content and you'd like me to continue making more content, making more videos, you could really help me out and help me grow the channel by giving me a thumbs up and liking this video by subscribing if you haven't already. And if you'd like to be notified of future videos, then you can click on the little bell button. So let's talk first of all about how the typical gallery business works with a reputable gallery. And reputable galleries, legitimate galleries, they make their money through selling artists' work. And so they are only going to approach you if they believe that they can sell enough of your work so that they can pay all of their overhead out of their commission and still make a profit. Now, how do vanity galleries work? And the reason they're called vanity galleries is like you can pay for the privilege of showing your art. And how they work is they charge huge fees to artists to either have a show there or to exhibit there. And that's how they make their money. They are not really interested in selling your work or any other artist's work. What they're interested in doing is getting artists to pay them for the purpose of showing their work. And again, they rely on young, inexperienced, naive artists who don't really understand how the gallery business works. So there's one particular gallery, I'm not going to say the name, but it, it's a very, very well known vanity gallery. And again, they really promote the fact that they're in Chelsea, New York. Um, and so the thought for a young aspiring artist to get their work shown in a gallery like that, it's like overwhelming. And so, of course, you're going to kind of be interested. And if you don't know enough about the gallery business, again, you might be willing to fork over that check, which typically they want three, five, even $10,000 from the artist for you to have a show there. And all that you are getting is the space. They do not promote your work. They do not have a large list of clientele. They do not make their money through selling art. They make their money by getting artists to pay to exhibit there. And so there's a few things that you want to look out for, again, to kind of identify whether or not a gallery is a vanity gallery. So the first thing is any gallery that approaches you and wants you to pay them before showing, that's a vanity gallery. So yeah, you should not pay anything when you're exhibiting in a gallery. And the other thing is they'll just reach out to you out of the blue and they'll tell you they have an opportunity for you to show they'll send you a contract again where they want you to send them a check galleries don't operate that way if a gallery is interested in you a legitimate gallery they may reach out to you but then they're basically what they're going to want to do is have a conversation with you to see whether or not you and the gallery are a good fit and in that conversation they'll tell you what you can expect from them and what they expect from you. And they will also then look at your work and decide which works, if any, or what type or style of work they're interested in. They won't just give you a carte blanche invitation to have a show at their gallery. Now, the other thing that's important about these galleries is it can actually hurt your career. Now, if you do happen to pay to exhibit at one of these galleries, again, you might think it's a good idea to put that on your CV that you showed at this gallery in Chelsea, New York, like that might impress buyers or other gallery owners. But here's the deal. 
these galleries are very well known by people who are actually legitimately in the art business. So if you were to have a CV or a resume that showed that you are promoting the fact that you had a show in one of these galleries, it is really going to hurt your reputation because it's going to show, first of all, that you don't know very much about the art business and you're pretty gullible um, in terms of your business savvy. And secondly, they know that you paid to show there. That's not something to brag about, that you paid a gallery to let them show your work. So even if you have been kind of scammed by one of these galleries in the past and have had a show there, do not put it on your resume. It is going to hurt your reputation, not help it. And the best thing that I can say to you is just avoid vanity galleries. They, they are not at all concerned about selling your work. That's not how they make their money. They make their money off the vanity of artists who want to say that they've showed in a certain location. Now, there are times when a gal gallery may legitimately ask you for some money, but that typically would be after you've had a relationship with them for a number of years. And in particular, if you're having a solo show. So I have had the occasion where I'm having a solo show at the gallery. When we talk about the opening, it might be something like, well, we're just going to do kind of soft drinks and snacks. But if you want uh, to serve wine and want us to get a liquor license, we'll go halfers on it. Or they might say, for example, that if you want an ad in a particular magazine or, or newspaper, that they'll do that, but go halfers on it. But typically, all the expense of showing your work is borne by the gallery. So a legitimate gallery is only going to be interested in showing your work if they feel very strongly that they are going to be able to sell enough of your work at a high enough price for them to cover all of their overhead and expenses and make a profit after paying you your commission. And that's why it's so difficult to get into galleries because it's only, you know, kind of the highest, the 98th percentile uh, and above of artists who actually fit that bill. Now, there are also other times where you might pay to have an exhibition, and that's something called a pop-up gallery, which is a very different from a vanity gallery. A vanity gallery purports to behave like a regular legitimate gallery, but they don't really do anything for you. All you're getting is the space. Now, a pop-up gallery, I've actually done a couple of those before I made the decision to open my own gallery. And that is basically you are just renting the space. And they're very, very clear about that. So in the, in the situation of a pop-up gallery, you would rent the space for a certain period of time but then everything is on you. So you would have to do all of the promotion. You would have to do all of the signage, all of, all of the price tags. If you are going to have an opening, you need to coordinate all of that. And that's actually fine. But you know going in, that's what you are going to do. And you know going in that the ultimate responsibility lies on you to actually promote the show, get people into the gallery, and actually sell your work. So that's what a vanity gallery is um, again i would avoid them at all costs oh one other thing i would mention that when you do your due diligence if someone approaches you and you google them just remember that the top google responses can be paid promotions so for that one particular gallery when you google the name of the gallery the first four or five google responses are actually glowing reviews of the gallery and one of them is a glowing review by an artist about what a wonderful experience it was showing at the gallery and encouraging other artists to kind of take advantage of this. And right off the bat, it's like, if that doesn't kind of make a little bell go off, then you really need to think a little more critically here because it's not like we are experiencing the great shortage of artists and galleries are out there paying to have posts that encourage that encourage artists to submit to them, right? Most galleries are beating artists off with a stick because they get hundreds and hundreds of submissions from artists, very few of whom are they interested in showing their work. So if you Google a gallery and one of the first things you see pop up is a review by another artist about what a wonderful experience it is, 
that's a big red flag. I've shown in a number of galleries and a lot of very big successful galleries, they've never asked me to do a review of their gallery from the artist perspective, because they know there's just a ton of artists that would just give their eye teeth to get into that gallery and show their work. So beware of vanity galleries, beware of any opportunity where the very first thing you have to do is to pay to be given that opportunity. You haven't been chosen because of the quality of your work. You've been chosen because they want you to give them money. In the legitimate gallery world, you are never asked for money up front to exhibit the gallery.